Hey again everybody, Eric here from Nomadic Fanatic. Hope you guys are doing well. We are gonna have a whale of a good time today. Nothing? What's up everybody? Coming to you from Canton, Ohio on a beautiful, beautiful day. It rained all night last night. Poured, thunderstorms, woke up today. It's, it's kind of drying out, although there's a, like a 50% chance of rain today. Using my good camera while I can. Now you're in old Mother Goose Land in Canton, Ohio. And every time I come back, this poor whale just gets a little worse off. He definitely needs some restoration in here. Of course, the punks still have to put all their graffiti fancy crap all over it. Yeah, and you know, it smells like sex in here. S straight up sex! Ugh. <laughs> I don't remember there being all this algae in here before. It's probably not a good sign. I don't know what they're doing with this place. It's still officially called Mother Gooseland Park here, but I mean, what what is it really? It's just an open space with rundown stuff, and uh, as you can see, no kids want to come out here. I can think of a million nicer places for kids to be in the middle of summer than this park right now. <laughs> Actually, I take that back. There is some neat artwork here on the wall that says Mother Goose Land there. Uh-huh. So is that what that blue whale looked like back in its prime? Because he don't look like that anymore, guys. Sorry. But yeah, tons and tons of art. That's so cool. The kitty cat with the knife over there. Three little pigs. Nice. You start raining on me. Hey, hey, don't even start that. <laughs> Why is there no sign on this bridge? Oh, that looked low. That looked low. What the heck? Ohio, other states tell us what the low clearance are. That is terrifying. So, um, considering the rain going on right now, well, you know, it's going to happen. Look, look how green Ohio is. Yeah, it can rain in the summer, so. Rain, rain, go away. I'm not in the mood right now. I warned you, I got my sunglasses on. That means I want some sunshine. So I, I was gonna camp. I was gonna pay to go to a campground here on this huge lake. This is, I think, Tappan Lake in, in Ohio. It's a, it's a monster lake around here. Lots of campgrounds. I checked Passport America and stuff like that, but everybody's booked, even this weekend with the rain on the way coming down right now. So, um, well, we're just going to do some boondocking. I think I'm going to go park the park the RV and car, get settled to do some urban boondocking, and then take the car out. Uh, there's also a uh, movie theater in town, so maybe I'll go see a movie. Maybe I'll do that. Yeah. But let me go get situated, and then I'll let you know. So not the uh, largest Walmart parking lot here in Canton, Ohio, but they do allow overnight parking for RVs. That's a cool thing. It's listed on my app, and I called ahead. So I'm still gonna take the car out because it's just more convenient. There's a couple things I do want to see here. And if the rain comes back, there's zero percent chance, but you know, it's probably gonna rain today. If it comes back, I'll go see a movie tonight. Yeah, much better having the car. All right, what is it guys? Say it with me. Art? It, it has to be art. I'm getting flashbacks of uh, Slab City there where they got all the console TVs that have white and red lettering. What do you want to bet there is no sign or plaque depicting anything here, what we're looking at? What do you want to bet? Nothing. Nothing. Nobody wants anybody to know what we're looking at. <laughs> Definitely art. Maybe it's not supposed to mean anything. They're, they all have like half their heads chopped off. And that guy looks like he's bleeding over there. Isn't that creepy? No, wait. No, that guy has a full head. Okay, does that mean something? There's there's one guy that doesn't have his head cut off halfway. Otherwise, otherwise, I really don't know. It's it's art. All right. Hey, thank you for that sunshine. Thank you for that. I appreciate that. So we're here at what is now a public library here in Canton, Ohio. However, this exact spot is very very famous actually. A little plaque right here. Yeah, so the Ohio Historical Marker Company put up this plaque commemorating and remembering President William McKinley. Yep, President McKinley's house was, was right here where they built this library instead. And this is the site 
of that magical porch. Have you heard of that? Mr. McKinley actually won the presidency twice, and he was perhaps the most efficient campaigner ever to run for president as he never left his front porch. <laughs> He literally did every single address and everything to become the president without leaving his front porch that stood right here. Things are a little different these days, huh? Yeah. <laughs> well, crud, the car's running right now, and you see, my check engine light's on there. Aww, that's the first time that's happened in Tater Tot. I'm not gonna worry about it just yet. I'll get back to the RV and plug in my OBD2 reader, find out what that code is at least. How many miles we got? 25,539 miles, but yeah, um, I don't notice anything. I'm not gonna freak out about it, but I need to check that out when we get back. Hmm. So for some reason, when I think of Ohio, I think of football, the Buckeyes, I, you know, like, like college football and stuff like that, but really, wait, who is their professional team? Do they have a professional team? Cincinnati Bengals. Yes, they're in Ohio. There might be another one too. Uh, Cleveland Browns? Wait a minute, there are quite a few. I'm sorry, Ohio. No, it's true, it really is a football. This is just a high school back here, but it says the Bulldogs over there, and we're near the um, Pro Football Hall of Fame is here. I'm gonna check it out. These, by the way, can you see those goalposts? Well, they could be goalposts, but they are actually huge power transformers. In, in the style of football and goalposts, and they go across the highway there facing each other. I just thought that was really cool because they blend in with everything else around this football area. But yeah, the uh, Pro Football Hall of Fame is nearby. I was wrong about there being a, uh, an AMC movie theater here in Canton, Ohio. There's one up near Akron or somewhere else. But it's a couple other theaters. I, I just, I wanna do some research on this place and get back to the kiddies. I'm gonna stop by and grab some lunch somewhere. And uh, because I wanna make sure before I go in there, can I bring the camera, can I film it? Otherwise, the next few hours, just, there'll just be not, <laughs> nothing to show, so. Over the phone, when I called the uh, Hall of Fame football place, they said, oh, it depends on the photography or videography. Are you using it in a commercial sense? Honestly, I don't think too many people really like put videography in two different categories. Um, maybe that's happened like three or four times, but you have to be honest I and mean, you can't lie. <laughs> you know, it, it kind of is commercial in a way because it's going on YouTube and I make money from it. So in a sense, you know, if they see it on YouTube, I could get in trouble, I could get sued. So um, I do like to clarify. And uh, so you guys can bring your cell phone in and post videos on Facebook, I guess, is that commercial? Because Facebook puts ads and Instagram puts ads. I don't know. I don't know. But I know for a fact uh, I, that's not a that's not one I want to bend. I'm gonna I'm gonna skip the Pro Football Hall of Fame. Went with some some Burger King here just so I can eat. Oh, I need to check that uh, check engine light too. Remind me to do that, guys. I get the old chicken sandwich plain. That way you know it's fresh. And then I get a side of side of barbecue sauce and lather that up on there. I guess that doesn't guarantee that you're getting a a fresh sandwich. It could still just been sitting there in the warmer and they just put it together. And I don't know, but. That's my thinking. Order it plain and it's fresher. Right, let's try this guy. You wouldn't like it, it's delicious. Well, let me explain something to you. Every time I eat, man, every time I eat my food, you know what I'm gonna do? Next time I pour your food bowls and both your food bowls are empty, I'm gonna get down on your level and I'm just gonna meow right in your face. Meow, meow. I'm gonna try to, yeah, I'm gonna try to squeeze my way into your bowl and, and, and get your food. What do you think about that? Well, that's what it's like. That's exact. No, that's what you do. Two can play that game, Jax. That's right. Yep. Tara, Tara, what are you doing over there? Is Tara ready for some lunch too? You mind if? I okay. Would you mind if I eat first? No, I'll just eat what you got. No, you won't. No, you won't. Bugger. Wait a minute. This is actually my first time using this. First code for the car. What we got here? P. 0949. Thank you, Jax, for being here with this. Let's see here. The P0949 diagnosis trouble code is not extremely serious. However, the drivability issues associated with it can be extremely annoying. It includes erratic shifting, transmission adaptive learning procedure not complete. Complete transmission adaptive learn procedure. Weird. Just had to be transmission issues, right? So I've never had a problem in over 1200 miles of towing the car, but I'm wondering 
if something happened and I like miss a step, because remember with these smart cars, there's an eight step process with the key and the brake and the power off and everything uh, in order to be able to tow it safely and not damage the transmission. Since this is the first code I've gotten on the car, I'm wondering, did I mess up something and forget a step at some point? So we'll see if it goes away naturally in the next couple drives. I'm actually going to go back out and hit a couple thrift stores and look for you know what. And actually, since... Since there's no movie theater for AMC here, I'm going to do a live stream with my patrons tonight. Um, I'll put a link in the bottom of the description. I hope you guys follow me on Instagram, too. I, I put some preview pictures so you can kind of find out what my next video might be about. But also, Patreon, you can uh, join me there for as little as $5 a month. And we do live streams fairly often, and you get to talk and interact with me live where we're at and kind of see where I'm going much sooner than uh, YouTube. But anyway, that doesn't take anything away from these YouTube videos. I'm still putting my full effort into them all uh but yeah let me get back to you in a little bit just got back to the rv haven't even checked in on those kitties and the check engine light magically turned back off so for some reason it needed to relearn how to use the transmission uh i i guess i did some more research and it also does that if you have transmission work done if they take it apart if they do a flush or something like that somehow your 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 car's computer system knows that and so it has to relearn how to use the transmission why is this guy stopping at my RV? Keep it, keep it pushing, dude. Anyway, I'll keep an eye on that and see if the uh, check engine light does come back on. I, d I don't think it will. I didn't do anything wrong as far as I know, but yeah. Otherwise, uh, most Walmarts are still have not reopened for their whole 24-hour thing. It's been over a year and a half. You guys remember that? You guys remember when Walmarts used to be open? And you can go to your shopping at 2 or 3 a.m.? Now, this one, uh, most of them around the country are still all closed up at night. But this one, if you listen... They're playing music on outdoor speakers, and I have run across this before in other Walmarts. Most of the time, it's to detour people. One of the things I noticed, that I, I missed it and I should have been paying attention to, is all of these skid marks, all the burnouts and stuff that go on here. Um, it did get loud a couple times tonight, actually. Some people were, were doing some drag racing right next to me, and... Uh, it's just usually they don't stick around too often because they know somebody probably called the cops when you're doing dumb stuff like that so they do their thing real quick for three four five minutes and then they all scatter and get out of here real, real quick. quick but so i've got a lot of work still to do and edit some video tonight i'm gonna get you caught up on two things real quick but look look i'm smiling so don't freak out or say anything everything is okay Except for the fact that now there's more police lights over here at the bank and stuff going on. I didn't do it. I didn't do it. Yeah, another cop just rolled through. It was about 15 minutes ago when it all happened. But I was, I was working. I wasn't, I wasn't sleeping quite yet, even though it's, it's 1 a.m. They're probably just going to keep making their, their rounds through here and try to find them. But like I was saying, I need to tell you about two things going on with Miranda the RV I'm not stressed about it, but I, I do feel like sharing this with you, okay? Number one, the uh, ticking sound that's on the passenger side valve cover. The, the ticking is back. It's not nearly as loud as it was before, but I can hear it while I'm driving. I can hear it while I'm idling at a, at a stoplight. The, the ticking is back. I believe it's in the same exact spot. It's not coming from the driver's side. However, <laughs> got another exhaust leak, and this one's strange. That's right, we're going to the driver's side now. I'm gonna use my flashlight and get in here. What we're looking at is, see right where my beam is right now? I'm gonna take the beam away so you can see something. Notice anything? Right there? Missing a nut. In fact, the bolt has broken. There's a whole one. That one is broken and missing. And obviously there's more carbon buildup because the gasket has now failed. So anyway, I can clearly tell the difference between the exhaust leak, it's a very, very loud ticking, and the ticking that's coming from the motor on the lifter. So what am I going to do? I am going, at this point, guys, I am going to have to order a new camshaft. I just got a new subscriber from the kids who are, are they going to do something stupid? Probably not. <laughs> but, they, but they actually pulled me up on their phone and subscribed, so that's cool. I'm going to order... Even though it's back ordered, I'm going to order that new camshaft and I'm just going to keep a positive attitude. I'll either have it shipped to the house or the, probably the shop because I want somebody to be there to accept it when it gets there. So we'll get that 
eventually when it's manufactured and uh, we're gonna have to park the RV for another good month. This is gonna be a lot like the work we did on Yoda and I don't even know where I'm gonna get it done or how I'm gonna get it done, but anyway, gotta fix her up, right? Gotta, gotta do it. I'm, I was gonna say I'm going to bed. No, I'm tired, but I need to edit this video first. I'll catch you guys in a few days. Uh, back from Ohio, I think. Yeah, a couple, couple, one more video from Ohio. No, just one more video from Ohio, yeah.